久しぶりだなレドと来たことがあるレドじいちゃんと来たのかまだレドと出会って間もない頃だその話聞かせてくれよライダーさんも聞きたいよな幼い頃からレドは村の者に好かれあいつの周りにはいつも誰かがいた誰もがレドに興味を示していたなのにあいつは興味を持たない俺の後ばかりつけてきたアルマー置いてかないでよついてくるなお前がいるとアイルーやらいろんなやつらがついてきて煩わしい待っててばうわっいったえモンスターモンスターが擬態していたんだアルマおおな何をするアルマありがとうありがとうだってアルマに助けてもらったからモンスターを追い払っただけなのに感謝をするなんて人間は変だと思った助けてもらったら感謝するのが当たり前だろう俺はただモンスターを追い払っただけだアルマは本当に変わったやつだなさっさと擬態してるやつを見つけるぞあっあっちょっん ?The monster may be hiding in those rocks choose one and inspect it with care Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of Monster Hunter Stories 2. As you can tell from the sequences, we are now traveling into Basaros territory, <coughs> which can be pretty frightening. Excuse me there. <coughs> so, um, yeah, surprisingly enough, my grandpa's design also takes customization to my character's look. So I designed Rin. Um, well, or rather my character to look like Rin from Eurocamp and she has purple eyes so my grandpa technically <laughs> also now has purple eyes so that's pretty interesting you don't see a lot of games like this aha looks like there's a catavan stand nearby wanna check it out of course I do anytime there's quick travel it's always welcome why did I not pick this up okay let's move along それはなんだか変な形の岩だなどれどれ座り心地はどうだ待て座らない方がいいそろそろ俺も休憩したいからいいだろうほらゆっとおにゃバサリオスはハードアウトシャウブルンアタックスウォークバッブルンアタックスウォークハードアイリーダーエスウォークサウンズライクエスタイムトブレイクアウトディハマーズエンハンティングホーンズバディエスグッティングアイブゴッドワンオーケーエスドゥデスバサリオスはかなりスロー、そう、I guess it's more of a power monster Oh, he's a technical. Interesting. Okay, so I guess let's switch monsters. Um, we're gonna need someone who is technically powerful. Let's do this. I wonder if 
freaking cut his tail off. Wait, what? Why did Azeroth choose a technical move? That's strange. Aren't you a power attack type monster? That's a first! <laughs> you don't see bosses run away. Oh, we got a C rank. That's horrible. So the camouflage monster was a Basarios. Not surprising, we must defeat it to protect the village. Okay, ooh, ooh. New monsters around. Let's go chase our main target. I think it's this one. <laughs> it's pretty obvious which shade of rocks is he. Alright, so this time around we've got the preemptive. I'm not letting you get away this time. I think we're gonna have to chase him for quite a bit. Hmm. Get to choose parts now. That's interesting. Can we like break his legs off so he doesn't run? <laughs> that sounds horrible. If you can break through his stomach auto shell, you expose his vulnerable underside. Crunchy on the outside, chewy on the inside, huh? Wow, you know all these kinds of cool stuff. Yeah, save the compliments for later. Concentrate on the battle. Okay, so under belly, uh, stomach. Yeah, there we go. This guy is tough. Look at how slow that meter is decreasing. All right, is he gonna heal my Ying Kuku? If your weapons don't work, try using a barrel bomb. They inflict damage regardless of a monster's defense. That sounds like a good advice to me. Bombs away. Okay. Let's see, where is the bomb? There we go. Ooh. That's bad. No, he died. Ah. It's okay, we still got two hearts left. Aiming for different parts. Hmm. Okay, let's keep going for the stomach. A little bit more. Oh no! No, I'm not gonna use the kinship skill yet. We want to really do the maximum amount of damage if possible. Nice, now your attack should start making a difference. Give that thing what? What? What did it say at the end? <laughs> oh! He's got a red face! Yeah. Okay, um. Let's see. I don't know, should we aim for the other parts as well? Using power moves now. Ooh, nasty. Okay, we're both riding our monsties. Since he's using power moves now, let's switch to like uh, speed. Okay. Wings is broken. Oh. 
Oh no. Okay, the two of them got burned. Oh wait, he's back to normal. Um, so let's use power. Okay, we're at level 3, so let's dish out the damage. Okay, that was close to breaking the tail. And it's gone! Let's rotate that joystick! Mm. I like how um, most of the combats between the monsters, the mini games tend to change. Mission complete! Whew. Now I can sit on any rock I want without worrying it will come to life. You never know if there's more than one Buster Ross in one field. I'm glad our little game of hide and seek is over too. Uh, still not the best results. Probably should do more training. Whew, that was a close one. Looks like you're getting stronger. And we are trying. And we track down the mystery monster to boot. Now the elder's sure to end me with got what it takes. Let's head back and tell him all about it. Choro, <laughs> 俺も同行しましたが、突き止めたのは彼らです。ライダーとしてということであれば、彼らは十分に役目を果たしました。うん。アルマの言うことに嘘はないと思われます。長老、よろしいのだろ。時が満ちたか。モンスターに眠る力を目覚めさせる秘宝だ。2体のモンスターの絆を合わせることで力を目覚めさせることができる。実践するとマナビも早い。旧社へ来い。Alright, so we reported to the elder the right of channeling. Oh look! Our little friend is flying around. <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> right of channeling can awaken new skills by transferring genes. Oh! It is time to select the right of channeling. Kind of channeling enables you transfer genes from one monster to another, granting it new abilities. Things getting interesting. <laughs> the right of channeling can be performed at this table, so it's pretty much like Pokemon. Um, I guess they have egg moves, so this is kind of like channeling moves. Choose one monster to pass on his genes, and another to inherit them. Select a monster to inherit the genes. Okay, how do I do that? So, next, select a monster to pass on its genes. Choose carefully the monster you select will leave you after the rite is complete. This time you can use my Ectonov. Okay. Uh. Oh, is it gonna transfer the rainbow? Hmm, but your Aftonov doesn't seem that powerful. <laughs> Select the gene you wish to pass from Aftonov to your Monsty. Oh, you can pick any one of them. Wow! Genes can only be transferred to another Monsty if it has open slot. Oh, so blank slots are actually a good thing. Okay, we're learning a bit more of the Monsty system. This is actually pretty useful information. First, select the gene to channel. Next, select an open gene slot. 
When the new gene is saved in a slot, the monster will gain a new ability. Only one gene can be channeled from each monster. Gene color indicates element and pattern indicates type. Line up genes of the same color or pattern horizontally, vertically or diagonally for a bingo bonus that will make your monster even stronger. You can have multiple bingo bonuses in effect at the same time. Stack genes of the same type to upgrade them and strengthen their effects. You can upgrade genes a maximum of two times. Oh wow! Can you replace the genes though? Hmm. That would be pretty interesting. Recovery gene, healing gene, soothing gene. What? Okay, so let's get that healing. It'd be nice to have my. Wait, can we replace? Oh, we can. That's interesting. Can we? Oh, wait. Wow, that makes. Oh, this is gonna be so intense. <laughs> I am so gonna spend so much time trying to build the perfect monster of each type. I don't know. I'm, I'm that kind of person. So, <laughs> at least it will make the game fun to its full potential to try things out. So, I'm just gonna put it into a blank slot first. Since, technically, we can replace genes later on. And, of course, there is the fact that we can power up the genes. So finding monsters with the similar gene to power and up is also going to be an important thing. The Rite of Channeling has awoken a new ability in your monster. The more you perform the Rite with your monster, the stronger it can become. Visit the stables anytime you wish to perform the Rite of Channeling. Yep. Alright, so we finally unlocked... これからできることがもっと増えるんじゃないか。いろんなところへ行けるようになって、いろんなことができるようになったり、どんどん成長していくライダーさんが楽しみだ。ゼラドさん。お、なんだ。ゼラドさん、あの件はいかがなりましたで
uh, in terms of mechanics at least, and of course a few of the old school monsters as well, which is pretty nice. Very nice nostalgic feeling for old school Monster Hunter fans especially, and we get to appreciate um, how tough the monsters can be in an RPG style format game. Um, but yeah, right of channeling is actually pretty interesting. I'm really looking forward to see how I can improve my monsters in the future. So yes, after completing numerous trials, you are finally granted permission to undergo the Rite of Channeling, a ritual that awakens the hidden power of kinship. To further yourself as a rider, you decide to help out a reverend who came to Zealot with a problem. So yeah, we're gonna help out the dad to retrieve the precious stone um, for his daughter, wonderful father always have the daughter in his mind but sadly to say we'll have to do this in the next episode so thank you guys as always for joining me on another episode of Monster Hunter Stories 2 the well the story for Basaros was pretty short but it was a pretty tough battle considering that it is one of those monsters with a long health bar uh, even in the normal Monster Hunter games you can probably realize that <laughs> just like how long that battle will probably take in the early stages of the game. Uh, so yeah, anyway guys, thank you guys as always, and I'll see you guys in the next episode soon. Bye!